Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control your hue lights with a stream deck. Take a second, and there we go. Now, I originally got this idea from a guy named Paul Hibbert on YouTube. I'll link his video down below. But basically, his video just shows you how to set up hue lights to turn them on and off of the stream deck. Now, he does go into a little bit more detail and stuff like that. So if you do want to check out his video, like I said, I will link it down in the description. But he doesn't really go into detail about like scene switching and how to control the colors of your stream deck and stuff like that. So this is just going to be a really quick tutorial on how to do that. And basically how we're doing this is a site called If This Then That. And basically what it does is when I hit a button over here on the stream deck, say if I hit this button right here, you wait a second and the light will turn green. And the reason why it does that is because if I click over here on the stream deck, you'll see that I have a website down here. So basically all it's doing is just triggering a website to pull up on a browser. And as soon as that browser reads that website was accessed, then it's going to go back through the internet and it's going to change my light a different color. Now it sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. Like I said, it's all controlled by a site called if this then that I'll put a link to it down below. But basically what you want to do is you want to go in there. You want to create yourself an account. It is free to create an account. Everything about this is free. One thing that I do want to let you guys know right off the bat though, is the stream deck itself is only compatible with windows 10 and a 64 bit operating system. So that is something to keep in mind before you even buy a stream deck. Now, personally, I wouldn't buy a stream deck just for this function. I use it for a lot of other things but it's just pretty cool that you can control it. I thought it was kind of neat, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, now enough rambling on, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to default, so I got a completely blank stream deck over here. All right, now my stream deck is completely blank. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a website trigger over in here. Then I'm gonna go over to if this then that, click on new applet. Now it says if this, I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna type in webhooks, and I'm gonna connect it. Now, sometimes it'll take a second to connect. Now, I'm just going to go over here to where it says receive a web request. Then I'm going to type in event name and say we're going to change the color to red. So I'm just going to label that red, create trigger. So if that receives that signal, then we're going to type in Q. Now, when you first pop this up, it's going to make you connect to your Philips Hue account. All right, now once you're logged into your Hue account, you can go to set a scene, turn lights on, turn lights off, toggle lights on and off, uh, blink lights, dim lights, all kinds of different options. Now what this is really cool for is say if you want to do something with like Twitch and you have like a Hue light in your background, what you can do is you can link up Twitch to do this. Whenever say you get like a new subscription or something like that, your light will start going off in the background and let you know that you get a subscription and just crazy stuff like that. I'm not going to get into all that in this video. If you guys want to see a separate video on that, let me know and I can go over all that. But basically what I'm going to use it for is set a scene in a room. Now you can go to color change and basically what it's going to do is it's going to figure out what lights you have connected to your hue bridge. Now mine only have a basement light and then studio is the whole grouping of lights in my basement. So if I wanted to do it this way, I can click studio color value or name. If I wanted to, I can just type in red. And then you can hit create action and you can be done with that step. Now, the reason why I don't do this is because even though I type in the color red, it doesn't do it at maximum brightness. It just kind of chooses a brightness, which I find really weird. A uh, way that I found around this is if you create your own scene in the Philips Hue app, just create one for red and create it at full brightness. So say like mine, normally you would only have Savannah sunset, nightlight, dimmed and stuff like that. But mine, you can see I have like blue, red, yellow, pink, everything like that. Those are custom scenes that I set up in the Philips Hue app, just so that way I get the full brightness out of the light. Because even when I typed in the correct color, it just wasn't bright enough. It wasn't doing it at maximum brightness. I think when I did red, it did it at like 20%. And it was just really, really dark in the room. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my red preset. I'm going to hit create action. And now this step is finished. So I'm going to finish that up. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go over to my applets, go over to services. We're going to click on webhooks and documentation. And basically what the documentation is, is this is your own special little key for your account. So basically when I type in red, I'm going to copy all of this and that's going to create my link. And now if I hit this button that says test, it'll send the signal over to my light and it'll change the light color. All right. So now once you have this link, 
you're going to go over to here where we created that website trigger. Paste in your URL right there and make sure that you click access and background. If you don't click access and background, every time you hit this button, it's going to pop up a web page and it gets really annoying really, really fast. I'm also going to double click on this and change the color. And really quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my profile back just so that way I can change it to blue so we can make sure that this is working. Now, if I go back out I change it back to this. Now, this is the only button that I have on here. If I click this button, it changes the light red. Now, obviously, it sucks that you have to do this for each individual color, but honestly, I just kind of rambled on in this video a little bit. Each individual trigger setting it up probably takes about less than a minute. So within 10 minutes, you'll have everything set up and ready to go, and you only have to set this up one time. So it's a one-time deal. Everything's set up and then you don't have to worry about it ever again. Now, hopefully this works for you and you can follow along. I tried to do it in a way that I think anybody can understand, but if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me down in the comments below. I always check my comments. So if you have any questions, I can normally help sort you out. And if you guys want me to do any other videos with if this then that and triggering Twitch notifications, tweeting out stuff when you go live automatically as soon as you go live on Twitch, or if you want to see anything with the stream deck, I'm constantly testing the capabilities of this thing and what I can get it to do. So if you guys have any ideas, any kind of questions like that, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below also. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.